All right, the guys at Mancusos are at lunch, so they pulled the Tesla into the shop. We have some good lights. This is my first time seeing this car, and I'm so excited. There it is. So we will be going to Chicago Auto Pros here in a few minutes uh, to get the windows tinted, some paint protection film, and maybe some other stuff. But look at this thing. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is mine. If you've been following along with this build, when this came to my house, it looked like this. It was quite mangled. I was pretty intimidated by this whole build process, to be honest with you. I'd never touched a Tesla before in my life, uh, but it went from that to looking like this. This is just like a total dream car for me. Uh, I drove a Chevy Volt for like four years and I just always wanted one of these, but they were just too expensive. I can't afford one. I still can't afford one uh, that doesn't have a story behind it like this. But the guys here at Mancuso's painted the front and rear bumpers, the side skirts and the roof all at the same time. So they all match. Uh, and they just did an amazing job. Anyway, black chrome, love it. It's looking fantastic. Big thanks to Mancuso for doing just an absolute stellar knockout job. But it's not totally done, and this car can and will look even better. So in this video, you're gonna see how top-of-the-line professionals tint windows, remove dents from aluminum, make deep scratches in paint disappear, transform leather seats, and apply a heat-activated self-healing wrap that can cost anywhere from five $5,000 to wrap a complete sedan to $10,000 for a larger SUV. And yes, I know it's expensive, but just wait and see what this stuff can hold up to. It's truly amazing. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy the video. First step is always prep. So the guys at Chicago Auto Pros have thoroughly washed the Tesla and now it's paint decontamination time. They've already applied and rinsed off an iron particle remover. So now it's all about the clay bar. A clay bar is used on every exterior surface to pull up any embedded contaminants from the clear coat. We want a perfectly clean and smooth surface before the clear wrap is applied so it adheres properly and doesn't peel. A properly applied good quality paint protection film can last about 10 years on a frequently driven car and even longer on a garage queen. Take a look at this. Take a look at the back of the Tesla right here. And then take a look at this Aston Martin Vantage S. The design language, especially in the rear, looks very, very similar. So I don't know the history behind who designed the Model S. I'm sure some of you guys uh, know, so comment down below. But the Model S to me just reminds me of an Aston Martin, of a Jaguar, and I'm glad it does because I like the way those cars look and I absolutely love how this looks. Every time I bring a car here, we kind of go down the rabbit hole of finding stuff. Now I knew this was here, uh, but we are finding a couple of dents. So I have Dennis does dents over here working on one on the hood and we have one on the door as well. Uh, so we're gonna try and get out as much of these imperfections as possible uh, before we start wrapping the car. But Jason thinks he can get some of this out. It's not gonna be perfect. We'll just have to live with whatever is left after all. She is a daily driver now. So Jason hit this with a uh, little bit of sandpaper, wet sanded it. So we'll see Just what happens a little bit. with the buffer. better looks a lot better like 99.9 percent .9 of people would for. not yeah. <laughs> know anything is going on there's a little you know this is where it was deeper right it's here, hard to but, get to this edge. yeah right right you know for your first time that's not bad yeah <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be really gentle with the aluminum. Bunch of already just disappearing.
Dennis, do you ever add heat for any of this, or is it always cold? Uh, sometimes you add heat for aluminum. Uh, this one's small enough you don't need to. Uh, usually on larger stuff you want to do it, makes it a little bit more pliable. I mean, it's not in the greatest spot, but make something right here. I might be able to get it stored in. So the dent here is, where is it? Right here. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a paint chip, but it's of course right on this body line, so we'll see what happens. Scratches. Finding stuff. You're always finding stuff, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she wrote, guys. Jason got this out, I'd say 90%. I don't even think you can see it on camera right now, but there is a little bit of a scratch right in here somewhere. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it. But anyway, good enough. Definitely good enough. We're not going to repaint this area just for that little scratch. So he is going to hit the hood up right now uh, with the buffer, clean that up because that is going to be a large area of the car that's getting wrapped. Uh, and now Dennis is working on what looks to me like an impossible dent because it is right on uh, this body line right here. But uh, he is going to go in right through there, try and get his tools in to take it out. That way we don't have to drill a hole in the car. Sometimes when you're getting dents done, PDR done, you do have to drill holes and then they put little plugs in them. But you want to avoid that if you can. So like anything, cleanliness is the key. So they're gonna be wrapping this bumper in the hood, uh, but they're also cleaning the surrounding areas. And the guys have all used a lint roller on their shirts. That's how crazy they get over here. Uh, so that nothing gets trapped in between uh, the car and this film. So they are using a Lumar film uh, for this as well. Same brand as the tints that are going on the car. And this does have a self healing uh, property to it. So if it gets light scratches and stuff like that, uh, you heat it up and it'll go away. Uh, this also is really hydrophobic and sometimes they do actually put ceramic coating over uh, these clear protective wraps as well. Just another extra layer of protection. So uh, the guys have already measured out and Jason with this, do we have a pre-cut for the front bumper and hood on, for this Tesla? Uh, I think we're gonna do this because this is a, uh, a different type of bumper. We're actually gonna do a custom cut. This is so crazy. It's cutting out the fenders right now. And look at that. All right, and just like that, we have both fenders, right? Yeah, both fenders printed on. Now we're just gonna throw them on the table and get them weeded out. So Dennis is still working on this dent right here. We had to move the car over so they could start with the wrap, but it's getting much better, but this is definitely a tough one. He's been at it for probably about a half hour so far. Um, and then after he gets it out, we'll have to just put a little bit of touch up here. Should look pretty good. So the guys just installed the paint protection film on the hood. Uh, and the reason they didn't use a pre-cut for the hood is so they can wrap the edges. Uh, so they will leave the hood popped after they finish and it'll dry. And that way you won't be able to tell at all that the hood's been wrapped. So right now they're tacking the edges in the corners and they're gonna pull this film tight because these fingers here you see, they're not gonna be able to squeegee those out. So they want it nice and tight. They're gonna pull it, stretch it out, and then squeegee it down. And that'll tack to the, to the paint. They have all that soap in the water in there oh, so they can the move it around stuck there? Yeah. and the get the nice placement to where they want it. Jason, is there any difference between doing a paint protection film versus a color vinyl wrap? Yeah, there's a lot so of differences. So this is thicker. This is gonna be twice as thick as a vinyl wrap. Obviously this is gonna be clear. This is meant to be so you can see the paint through it. And this is gonna protect against rock chips where your normal vinyl film is not gonna do a whole lot of protection. It's more for just color change, aesthetic okay. purposes. And on your end, the installation end, is there a difference? Is one harder than the other? Yeah, so this is a wet application. Normally with vinyl, it's a dry application and it has air release pockets in it so where you can get all those air bubbles out. This is a wet application. You gotta be able to move it around and adjust it to where you need the pattern. So this is more difficult then? This is more difficult because it's a thicker film, especially when you're doing front bumpers and stuff where there's a lot of curves, it can get difficult.
right, so Dennis found another dent, of course. There's never, yeah, there's never just one. But wow, this looks absolutely amazing. Other than the, if the paint chip wasn't here, it'd be perfect. Yeah. So we'll touch that up. Uh, it'll look pretty good. And then eh, there's one right there. Not as bad as that one, but you know, still a little bit of work since it's near this uh, this body line right here. If you guys want to see some pretty cool before and after pictures, uh, Dennis has an Instagram. Dennis does dents. And if you live in the Chicagoland area and you have a dent on your car, I'll leave his contact information down below. Uh, he's done dents on my E55, a couple other cars, and now the Tesla, which is all aluminum, and the work just speaks for itself. Dennis also makes custom tools on the spot by any means necessary, including using a sewer grate to bend his door bar. <laughs> so there you go. We have a custom dent removal tool for a Tesla. All right, so the guys are starting uh, with the front end here, and they actually have pre-cut sections for the fog lights. Uh, and for the headlight lenses, which is huge, because obviously this is another big area of the car that can get hit by rocks and whatever on the road. Absolutely amazing. Much Absolutely better, huh? amazing. I yeah. just I cannot even believe it. The tents really just complete the look. Absolutely. It's protected. You guys protected some more spots, right? Some yeah, more so we wiped it down with a uh, like a ceramic spray. So what we did, all your window tints are done. Uh, looks great. We got paint protection film on the full front end, rocker panels, and we did a small area on the back, the luggage rack. Uh, it's because it's a hatchback. 
if you're getting anything in and out here, you got a small piece there for, for oh, cool. protection. Oh, cool. Yeah, now. so it's right here and then here. So if I'm loading things in, yep. uh, we won't scratch up the bumper. That is perfect. So we wrapped all the edges we could. You'll see like on the fender here, you won't see a seam on here because all, all these are wrapped. Took this out. Everything's wrapped behind here. They're so seamless, invisible. Uh, unique thing about this film, so it's uh, self-healing. Right. You want to test it out? I mean, how self-healing are we talking about here? So it's made to self-heal <laughs> like any swirl marks. Car wash scratches, anything like that, they'll heal with heat, heat gun, or hot water, or okay. just the sun. Um, there are limitations. I mean, it's not going to stop like a key. <laughs> But there's, I mean, it, it self heals. It's pretty cool. So. What about kids playing in the garage with my tools, like a wire brush, something like that? Yeah, wire brush. Speaking of wire brush, I got one. All right, Jason seems very, very confident that the paint protection film will protect the finish from scratches. Confident enough that we have a paint destroying wire brush to try this out. So let's do it. I'm kind of freaked out. You realize I just finished this car. No. <laughs> Oh, it's worse than nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> that is horrible. Let me get a good angle for you guys. Take a look at the scratch marks. I know it's hard to see. It's right in this area. Okay, it's already gone. That's it. The scratch is totally gone. This is amazing. So basically, my kids can take a wire brush to the Tesla and it's really not that big of a deal anymore. <laughs> No, this is really cool. And this will also kind of self-heal in the sun, right? So we don't yeah. even need to do right anything. Outside. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got this hood here. This, we just put paint protection on okay, here. This might show yeah, better. It's hard to see on the silver, so the black one here, so. See those scratches? So, let's see. Okay. Perfect. Let's do it. All right. This is, this is basically how bad it was on the Tesla, but it's silver, so it's tough to see. Dude, that is amazing. Yeah. It's gone. All right, hang on, dude. Hey, look at that. I can see you. Um, let's let's do some extreme scratching. All right. I mean, whatever, right? <laughs> see what it's capable. I want to see what it's right. capable. Like, how bad can you scratch this? All right. So this is what we'll do. <laughs> I'll start um, kind of soft over here. I'm gonna go a little harder. still hot so it might be self-healing oh yeah it's great it probably is we probably <laughs> oh, gotta yeah, let it oh it's clear. going away it's gone all right hang on we gotta let this thing cool down <laughs> all right so we cooled the panel down so we can do some extreme scratching now let's see what you can do well. all right we'll start soft over here oh this hurts oh that's pretty hard that's okay. pretty brutal hang on can we can we do a little key <laughs> yeah can we do it? Here. I mean, that's that, that's a good keen right there, I'd say. Uh, we'll see if that, I don't know if it'll take that out. <laughs> this is a key mark. At least there's some brutal ones over here. All right, so these scratches are totally gone. You can key see mark. the key mark, but I think that would I think that would actually kind of buff. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, there it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought this would actually like protect real world scratches, but you can literally take a key to one of these and it's totally fine, which is amazing. I still don't recommend doing it. I'm not going to be experimenting anymore with the Tesla, uh, but what's nice is the car is fully protected after getting all of this work done. And she is looking absolutely amazing. All right, so just like finding dents and random scratches all over my car, these guys seem to find anything, anything that's not perfectly clean, including uh, the seats. So when I got this from the auction, it came with all of the destroyed bumpers just crammed in the interior. Uh, we have some dirt here, and these are the very light, uh, I, I don't know, they're off-white seats. But anyway, uh, Jason sells some amazing car cleaning products on carsuppliesweharehouse.com. Uh, I'll leave a link down below, but he has... Uh, some products that can clean these super light 
Tesla seats and protect them, and he's going to demonstrate right now. Yep, so we're going to start by using uh, Dr. Beasley's fine leather cleaner here. I'm going to spray it directly on our leather cleaning brush and clean the seat. Put a piece of tape down the middle so you guys can see like the difference. The seats don't look that bad, but you'd be surprised how much dirt hides in these seats. So you can see, and I'll pull this piece of tape off so you can see, you can see all the oils and everything here. Yeah. In the skin, that makes the, the seat look uh, shiny. And now that we've cleaned it. Oh my God, dude, are you different. kidding me? That is crazy. It's like there's a layer of like oil and grime on this side. Isn't that gross? Wow, that, that works really well. <laughs> I like that little brush you're using too. Is that yeah, specifically for fantastic. seats and fabric yeah, and whatnot? Is, this is made for leather. It has these nice little microfiber fingers. Does that come with the stock? It the, does not. You okay. buy this separately. Though. Okay, cool. Wow. wow. So what's next? We have uh, the uh, so leather cream. So we're going to clean the rest of the seat, and after any time you clean leather seats, you want to condition them. So this is Dr. Beasley's leather conditioner. What I really like about this is it doesn't leave it greasy. It doesn't leave it shiny. It's a matte finish. Cool. So let's take her outside in some really good light, kind of give you guys the grand final reveal. We'll talk about some of the uh, finishes uh, with the wheels and the front bumper, give you guys some more details. And then I'm driving it home. And here she is, my 2015 P85D Tesla. It's absolutely perfect and 100% complete. So we picked this up as a salvage project. It ran off the side of the road. It was destroyed. It was totaled out. And now it looks like this. And I can't believe this is my car. This is exactly what I was thinking when we got this car originally. This is what I wanted it to look like. I wanted black chrome wheels. I wanted the carbon fiber spoiler, of course the tinted windows, and the fact that it is a hard top car, although I kind of wish I had the sunroof or the glass roof just because it's cool on the inside of the car, this makes it very unique, and I think it looks really, really good uh, with the silver roof. But let me know in the comments section, uh, would you guys wrap the roof in black? That is something that I've been thinking about, uh, but then it would kind of take away from this very unique look. I would say probably 95% of these cars had some kind of sunroof. Uh, something else I'm considering is wrapping uh, this part in black as well. So this is the aftermarket T Sportline bumper. So it's the refresh updated style bumper, but it's not from Tesla. So there are little differences on the Tesla bumper. It goes all the way through. I don't think they have the tow hook cover there. I'm not really sure. Uh, but other than that, it looks pretty awesome. Fitment is pretty good. You gotta realize this is an early Tesla. So fitment wasn't the best to begin with. And you save a ton of money uh, getting this aftermarket direct bolt on updated front bumper, as opposed to buying the Tesla one with all the brackets and all that kind of stuff. But uh, the wheels, black chrome these are the 21 inch factory tesla uh, turbine wheels and i had them powder coated by chicago wheels in black chrome and i've wanted black chrome for a long time i think it looks amazing especially uh, with the silver car and some people thought that these looked uh, just like normal gray let me pop up a picture of what a normal gray turbine wheel looks like and then you have this here. So it kind of looks chrome sometimes. It kind of looks black sometimes. It's amazing. The contrast is really cool in person. Uh, so I love that. And then we have the carbon fiber spoiler. So from Tesla, I think this is like 1500 bucks. Some other companies have it for like a little less, like eight, $900. I got this off Amazon or eBay. I'll leave a link down below. I don't remember. It was only $200. Everybody else gets this too. It had a lot of good reviews. Uh, you really can't go wrong. So we have the updated rear bumper. That is a factory Tesla bumper. Man Cusos painted the side skirts on the earlier Model S. It is just a black plastic. So with them painted, this looks just like a new one. Uh, and yeah, this is basically uh, kind of like your 2017 and up conversion. It's missing some things like still has the older headlights, which I really like. Uh, so if you're a total Tesla fanboy, you can tell uh, this isn't a real 2017 and up. I love the 35% on the windows. It's legal, but it still uh, makes it look really nice. And I will be leaving the chrome. I really like these uh, in chrome. A lot of people do the chrome delete. That is not me. And now our interior is just looking ridiculous. Uh, so this car has been aligned. There are absolutely no warning lights uh, on the dash anymore. That's all been fixed. Autopilot works. It's been inspected by the state. It no longer has a salvage title. It now has a legal rebuilt title. And that's it. I'm going to be driving this car every day. I'm driving it home right now. And 
it is absolutely perfect to me. So I will be making some more Tesla videos, uh, like how much all of this cost grand total. Uh, I gotta add it up guys, it's gonna take me a little bit of time. Then we're gonna go try and supercharge this car. There have been a lot of things in the Tesla news lately that they are blocking supercharging on these salvage title cars. I had it when I bought the car six months ago uh, and I'm curious to see if Elon has blacklisted me. But anyway, I absolutely love it. I'll show you guys the charging system in my garage in the next video as well. Uh, so a big thanks to Mancuso Collision Custom in Glenview, Illinois. Big thanks to Chicago Auto Pros also in Glenview, Illinois. Uh, T Sportline, the bumper is awesome. I love it. And Chicago Wheel did an amazing job on the finish on the wheel. So I'll leave everybody linked down below. Check them out, especially if you're in the Chicago land area. And with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're into this car. I am. I'm going to make some more videos on it. If you did like the video, hit the thumbs up button, share the video, subscribe if you're new, and most importantly, have an awesome day. I'll catch all of you in the next video.